Hey, everybody out there. How you doing tonight? Uh, here I am again, because it is Monday. <laughs> and on Mondays, I podcast. Um, I uh, always hope that anything that um, that I share with you guys is um, well-researched uh, before you just rush off and do it. <laughs> Although I am somewhat of an expert, I don't know everything. And uh, I would, you know, rather that you uh, do your own research. I mean, you know, you may have heard it here, but don't let me be the final authority. Because um, really, you are the one that's in charge of your own health. You heal yourself. And that's my, my message tonight. You can take all the herbs and supplements you want. If you aren't um, living the life it's not going to work. You know, you have, you can't take supplements and then eat at McDonald's. That's not going to work. You know, you can't, uh, um, you can't, supplements don't take the place of exercise or sunlight or grounding or any of those things. You know, you really have to, um, to do the whole package. Uh, when <laughs> I, somebody asked me, I had, I had lost some weight, you know, and was looking pretty good and feeling good. Great. Oh, there I am back again. Okay. <laughs> I was looking good and feeling good and people were asking me how to do it. And I said, well, I finally put everything together that I had been telling my patients for years, like go to the gym, exercise, eat healthy food, you know, eat greens, leaf, lots of leafy greens, lots of fruits and vegetables, you know, limit your red meat, all those things. And, um, and they, uh, you know, if you do, all of that stuff together and you find a hobby, work on your mental health. If you do all those things together, it can work for you. But it's when I was half-assing, you know, let's just say it. I was half-assing the whole fucking thing <laughs> for a long time, you know, and I'd think, well, if I go to the gym and I work my ass off at the gym, things are going to start to happen. And they did, but in a really small way, you know, it wasn't until I put the whole picture together that it really changed my life for the, you know, for good. Um, except for, you know, uh, my, some of my habits needed to end and, and they have, and now I'm back to where I started, you know, a long time ago. <laughs> and that's good. That's a good thing. Um, I am on such a spiritual and healing journey right now. Um, not just for me, but with my cousin who has glioblastoma. If you're not familiar with that. It's a brain cancer. It comes on later in life, usually um, after your 40s. And it is, um, it can be quite deadly. Um, he had a two inch tumor removed and, uh, but they couldn't get all the satellites, you know, all the little ones. On a good note, it's not, it's non-metastasizing. So it's not going to go anywhere other than his brain, but it will probably grow back. So, you know, we're just kind of enjoying life while we can, you know, which is a message in itself to enjoy the moment, live in the moment. You know, don't think about what's going to happen tomorrow. Don't think about what happened yesterday. Don't ponder it. Don't harbor it, you know, because frankly, um, tomorrow's gone. Tomorrow, uh, to <laughs> I'm sorry, yesterday's gone. Tomorrow might never happen. And so really all we have right is the right now, this moment in time where, you know, I'm sitting here with Joanne and we're podcasting and, uh, and I'm going to tell you guys about some healing herbs today because uh, I have done a lot of research recently um, to see if I could find things to help my cousin. He's decided not to do chemotherapy and not to do radiation, which is fine, you know, if that's what he's decided to do. He's, I know, done his research and he's uh, talked to a lot of people, firsthand accounts of both things, and he's decided to go natural. He, um, he fasts um, and he, uh, he has his hot lemon <laughs> and uh, we're doing um, some tinctures and things like that. Um, what I've come up with recently is a, I'm going to make a snapdragon flower tincture, which is uh, cancer killing. Um, so I've, I've read. And so we're going to give it a try. Um, and, you know, just really tighten up your, your diet and, and positivity. Positivity is the word of the day, I think. Um, 
because there's been a lot of negativity in the air <laughs> when it, even, you know, like a lot of it has been in the paranormal realm, you know, of people. Some people have just flat out said, I'm out. I don't want to be here anymore, you know? And so uh, that to me is kind of sad because um, we should be building each other up. It might not be what I think is, uh, is great and grand, but they're on their own journey. You're not on that journey with them, you know, let them have their journey. What is it hurting you, you know? Um, and so I really try to uh, stay upbeat and positive no matter what, you know, people can sling stuff at me all they like, and I'm sure they do. But uh, honestly, um, I don't have to let it bother me. Um, we all, you know, we, we do and say what we want to do and say. And so if I don't want to feel bad about any of that stuff, I don't have to. If I want to look at and put a positive spin on everything in my life, I can do that. Because that's up to me how I view the world. It's up to me how I react to the world. And um, frankly, I'm just not anybody letting anybody steal my sunshine. <laughs> and, and I might just spread it around a little bit, you know, for everyone. So, um, you know, you, you'll get very little negativity out of me. You know, I might say, you know, eating McDonald's is bad because it is. But, you know, it's like I try to put a positive spin and say, you know, you'll feel a lot better if you don't eat that McDonald's. <laughs> so, you know, things like that. You just really try to be a, a positive influence to people because, frankly, there's enough negativity in the world. Um What's going on overseas now is just, it's disastrous and it's horrible. And, uh, and I'm not going to, you know, say a lot about it, but I just want to say peace, man, peace. Um, we are definitely, uh, my mother was a hippie and so am I. And so uh, it's only natural that I should look for natural ways to heal myself and others. And so um, I uh, have a little list here. These are supposedly the nine best uh, herbs that you can, uh, you know, treat yourself to. <laughs> and I do this one, turmeric. It, it's a blood purifier, blood thinner, and it's uh, in the root form. It looks kind of like a ginger. And so, but it's really, really orange and it'll turn your food super orange too. But like in a soup or something, even, you know, sliced on a salad. It's really kind of tasty, you know. You can put it in just about anything and, you know, it's not a bad thing. And then uh, there's evening primrose and uh, that you can get as a, a oil, I think. And um, that's for arthritis and PMS. So it's kind of an anti-inflammatory. Also anti-inflammatory, believe it or not, stinging nettles. I know they're such a pain in the butt out in the yard and people will cut them down. They will spray them, you know, get those stinging nettles out of here. But they're actually quite beneficial to you uh, as an anti-inflammatory. And all you got to do is go out and wear gloves and pick some, you know. Uh, I use some little scissors or something to cut them off because they're really, you know, stingy. And, and gloves, of course. And then uh, wash them and throw them in a pot with some water and boil it all up until it's nice and green. You know, I give it maybe, you know, 10, 15 minutes of boiling. And then you take the nettles out and drink the tea. You can put some sugar in it if you like, or you can a little honey, actually honey would be better for you because uh, um, raw honey has some great properties for healing as well. So um, let's see. Uh, flaxseed is another one. And flaxseed also has some, um, Oh, oh, um, I'm looking for uh, essential oils. That's <laughs> not essential oils. Omegas, I think. It has um, uh, essential fatty acids. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> and then um, tea tree oil, which you got to be careful. Tea tree oil is a great healing oil. But if you have cats, you better keep it far away from them because tea tree oil and a lot of these essential oils are bad for cats. So just kind of keep that in mind. And, you know, um, you might want to check on the, the use of them, too, uh, for dogs. You know, if you have cats and dogs, you want to be sure that you're um, healing yourself and not killing your pets. Because, <laughs> no, that's no fun for anybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I'm cured, but I killed my cat. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> so then, uh, let's see, echinacea. Um, we've all heard of echinacea. Uh, it's sort of like it works better as a preventative. So like, you know, by the time you're sick, it's probably too late for the echinacea. It's when you just start feeling run down, like, ugh, things are just not great today. I'm not feeling my healthiest, you know, then maybe you should take it and, you know, kind of knock it out before it starts. Another thing too, um, quinine, which is found in tonic water. Um, and uh, in combination with zinc and vitamin D can be a preventative for COVID. So there you go. There's a little tidbit on that. I heard from a fellow chiropractor. Yummy. Jasmine tea. Ah, oh, it's so good. <laughs> so then anyway, um, another thing I heard from a fellow chiropractor, I have tried it myself and it works like a dream is oil of oregano. And how I use it is I put five drops in a shot glass of water. I drink that. And then because it's kind of spicy, I'll shoot a couple more shots of water, you know, to chase it. And I do that for several days um, if I kind of feel that coming on because I have diverticulitis. And some people lose pieces of their colon over diverticulitis. And I'm like, no, not happening. Um, colostomy bags are, um, it's, it's a horrible experience. And um, I did watch a, a program with a lady that had a colostomy bag and it was horrific and I felt so bad for her. And um, so, you know, you can heal your diverticulitis with um, oil of oregano, or at least I did. So um, it's good for all kinds of infections. Uh, my cousin had a bad tooth and he put a couple drops of oil of oregano on it with some clove oil to kind of kill it, you know, kill the, the, the pain and all that. And uh, by God, he, he cured himself of the toothache and it's gone now. And didn't go to the dentist, didn't get an antibiotic, none of that stuff. So, um, so we're trying to practice what we preach here <laughs> and, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things, uh, that you kind of, you know, if you talk about it long enough, you, you figure, gee, maybe I should try that. <laughs> so anyway, um, grapeseed extract is another thing that's uh, good for you. And lavender, of course, for, uh, calming, you know, if you can't sleep, you can put some lavender under your pillow or make yourself a little sachet uh, with lavender and uh, and chamomile and things like that in it, the actual flowers, and then put that under your pillow, make you a sachet. Or you could use a little bit of lavender um, oil extract, you know, uh, extract, <laughs> and uh, and you could drop that on your pillow, and that, that'd be good too. And then chamomile, of course, you know, everybody's heard of chamomile tea. Sleepy time. <laughs> it's sleepy time. Give me some chamomile. So yummy. Anyway, uh, so that's always good. And um, and I bought some German chamomile flowers, and uh, they're, they're very nice. Garlic is a big one, too. Garlic, onions. You can make a, like, um, like a cough and cold sort of remedy uh, with honey and garlic. And you just like leave it in there and, and keep shaking it from time to time, you know. But yeah, uh, garlic and honey. I know it sounds like a strange combination, but it does work. And then um, ginseng is another one. And uh, you can get that at any Chinese grocery store or even some convenience stores have little ginseng, you know, things you pop it with the straw and drink it. And uh, um, it increases your immunity and co cognitive function, as well as reducing inflammation. So that's a good one. Um, yeah, but the snapdragon flower, that's the thing I'm going to try next. I bought a bunch of snapdragons, and they're all blooming like crazy, which is great. I love it down here because uh, already uh, flowers are blooming. Uh, my peas are like this tall, you know, everything is just growing great. My squash is big, you know, it's about maybe that big. And I planted all this from seeds. Even my little tiny tomatoes are about this big, you know. So it's, uh, it's going re really well with all my seeds and stuff. So, so the 
we went and got some actual plants um, yesterday and I'm working on putting those in the ground and uh, and I'm just reminded, you know, rosemary's good. It's a good antibacterial as well, rosemary. And rosemary also wards off uh, evil from your house. So to put a rosemary like by your door somewhere is, is always good. Um, because although I am the doctor, I'm also the witch. <laughs> so I use these things, you know, um, when I'm doing uh, any kind of, you know, I'll just call it worship. <laughs> when I'm worshiping, I use these things. So, um, you know, it's it's a good one. Um, another thing I use is bay leaf. Bay leaves are great. And, uh, you know, all the things that you use in cooking, oregano, bay leaf, thyme, all those things have great healing properties. And it's no wonder that we've been using them for thousands of years to uh, season our food. Because, frankly, that that's what it's all about you know you season your food with this stuff and you're eating it and it's doing its job you know so that's a great thing and um so i see there's one person out there <laughs> you got any questions or would you like a reading i did bring my cards so uh i would be happy to, to do a reading for anyone who would like to have one okay my computer's super slow. <laughs> so anyway, um, I would be glad to do a reading uh, if anyone would like one. So I have no idea what's going on here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I may have to come back. Okay, we're good. No, we're good. <laughs> we're really good. Um, and so... Yeah, uh, you know, things happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. And I think I'm here to uh, to just build my spirit and uh, my base of knowledge for things that, um, that I hadn't learned yet, you know? Um, because frankly, uh, this place itself, the art farm, is a very healing place. <laughs> the art farm, art farm. <laughs> oh shit cancel um okay Oh, I'm back. Hello, folks. <laughs> oh, Joanne, come on back and I'll give you a reading. I'll uh, uh, let me get my cards out and I'll shuffle them. Uh, so then uh, I'm also going to go to uh, things and I'm going to um, share my show. I'm sharing the show. So share it to uh, this. And then uh, I'm just going to share it like that and then share it to uh, me. And then I'm going to also share it um, to, uh, oh, what the hell, we'll share it to there too. There we go. I shared it around. <laughs> and it's shared. So uh, speaking of sharing, I'm going to share some cards with Joanne. 
and see what happens here. <laughs> My friend from Iowa has been calling me frequently for readings. She's actually the one who taught me how to do cards. And um, she has a, just a, you know, a modicum of confidence in my readings, <laughs> which is good. And so um, uh, I've been trying to help her through messages from the cards and uh, she's going through a divorce. And um, so, yeah, but it's just, and you know, anytime you break up with somebody that you've been with for like 30 plus years, it's fucked up, you know, I'm just going to say that it's not good. And so uh, I, I just uh, try to be a sounding board, you know, and uh, and just, uh, you know, help her with solid advice and whatever the cards tell me. Maybe it'll make sense to her, I hope. So, all right. So Joanne, 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 we're going to get some answers from the universe for Joanne. Let's see. Are you... Um, Let's see. Oh, well, there we go. I went right to it almost. How about that? That is just dandy. So your first one is the um, Nine of Cups. And um, let's see. Nine of Cups, but it's reversed, so we're going to read that. Let's see. Um, may reveal, uh, ne okay, needing validation and recognition. It also points to overindulging in life's pleasures and needing to implement moderation. When you consider the abundance in your life, celebrate it by expressing gratitude and generosity. <laughs> oh my, God. Oh, my hair looks great today. <laughs> so anyway, and then that was your, your past, your recent past. So then uh, your, your present is the uh, six of pentacles. Um, let's see, Six of Pentacles. Uh, not money issues, but something about money. Uh, let's see. Just, uh, I think, being generous, you know. Um, reversed can come as a warning of generosity with heavy strings attached or a warning to watch out for intentions behind the act. This may relate to you giving with an ex expectation of getting something in return and being disappointed or try to give your time, energy, and resources to people in situations where the only reward you can expect is the joy of being of service. And uh, I, I totally understand that one. And, and it's really, you should go into any situation not expecting anything. If you do it, you do it because you want to. It's what you love. It's what you believe in. And don't do it with any other expectation because then you're never disappointed. So, um you'll always, uh, you know, when, when you expect nothing and you get nothing, you're never disappointed <laughs> and it's okay. You know, you did it because you wanted to out of the goodness of your heart. Otherwise don't do it, you know, just, just leave off on it. So, um, let's see, five, six, seven, eight of, uh, eight of wands, the wands, you know, these, uh, these also, um, um, uh, correspond to the the cards like the decks of cards you know um so that's kind of cool um but i forget my cousin told me i forgot he reads cards like and he does it all in his head it's amazing i still can't exactly wrap my my noggin around that <laughs> um so then uh let's see we got oh it's reverse too so eight of wands indicates delays or hang-ups which put a damper on your enthusiasm about something you had been anticipating these delays are no accident. They're divinely timed to highlight an important realization, something you need to recognize before you can continue down your path. Perhaps the lack of movement is reminding you to enjoy the process without being so focused on the outcome. And that's that's good advice no matter who you are. <laughs> enjoy the journey, man, because that's what it's all about. Live in the present moment because this is all we have is this present moment, you know. So make it good. I wasted a lot of time in my life um, waiting for things to happen, you know, like, oh, I'll be so happy when I'm done with college. I'll be so happy when I'm done with whatever it was, or I'll be so happy when I find the right person or when I have a child or when I, you know, all these milestones were supposed to make me ever so happy. Well, guess what? <laughs> 
it wasn't the actual thing that wasn't that I wasn't happy, why I wasn't happy. It was because I wasn't enjoying the journey. I was forgetting that in between here and college graduation, there were a bunch of good, real good fucking days in there, you know? And I just needed to focus on living more in the moment, you know, although preparing for the future. Um, I didn't live there yet. <laughs> I was living in this time. In this moment in history, uh, and and I needed to just live in the present. And uh, I think a lot of us get drawn away from that, you know, because uh, we're always looking forward, you know. And I've ruined some really good, good, what could have been good times, um, worrying about what was going to happen in the future, you know, and uh, and worry. Worry is what comes when an anxiety when you think too much on the future. You know, when you put too much emphasis on, well, what's going to happen tomorrow or what's going to happen if I decide to do this, what's going to happen? Well, if you've pondered it and you have um, decided on something that you're going to do, just you decided that's it. You know, let, let the chips fall where they may. And if they fall in your favor because you've meditated and you've listened to your intuition and you've uh, you feel good about where you're going then things are going to turn out okay. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Um, what you worry about may never come to pass. That was my problem. The things I worried about actually never came to pass. I almost, I practically ruined a vacation with my ex because he wouldn't say, yes, maybe someday he would want a child. And I thought to myself later after we had our child, what a worthless waste of energy that was. <laughs> When I should have just enjoyed the vacation and let the chips fall where they may and lived in the moment instead of trying to live 10 years in the future, because that's about what it was. It's about 10 years in the future. You know, it's either going to happen for you or it's not, you know, to worry on it is just a waste of the present, which is a gift for all of us. You know, this moment is a gift. <laughs> live it. So anyway, um, I, there were a couple of other people here, but they must have got tired of listening to me yammer on. So, so they left. Well, which is okay. Uh, I'm glad they stopped in. Um, and so having said that, I think we're just going to probably do a 30-minute show tonight because, uh, uh, frankly, I wasn't even going to come on at all. I'll be honest. I wasn't going to do this show. And then I thought to myself, you know what? If anybody shows up and if I can even help one person realize uh, a, that, you know, a better life, then it's worth it to me. And uh, Joanne, you are such a great person. And I really, uh, I really enjoy that you come and join me on Mondays and I hope you continue to do so. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say good night to everyone and I hope you have a pleasant tomorrow. <laughs> And uh, um, just stay positive and upbeat and blessed be. Good night.